freaking wild, right? What's the deal with Super Metroid Rex played it last night? I'm a big fan of this game, and I was enthralled watching him play it, and it made me want to do my annual run again. So I do this, like, about once a year, maybe twice a year sometimes. And, uh, yeah, I just felt like playing it. I figured, why not stream it? You know, kind of just how things work these days. So I think I'm going to go see what the situation is on my control setup, because this is always the perpetual thing now. Okay, so yeah, all of my data have stupid files in them, so I guess I'll delete one of these. Uh, and then I'll forget that A is actually backward in this and goes out to the title screen. Data yes, please. Data clear will clear B, I guess, because it doesn't really matter which one we clear. It doesn't even matter how hard we try. And all I'm really hoping is that... For once, I can turn off the stupid German text. No, all I'm really hoping is that I have the ability to have my controls be mapped the way I want already. They should be set up in the inputs it's to default, but if they're not, it's going to be interesting anyway. Uh, so yeah, we'll do... Was it really a year ago? Jeez, I don't know if it was a year ago. I don't really pay much attention. Uh, it could have been, though. I, maybe it could have been. But I wanted to play it again, so I call it annual. It's just like at least once a year. Oh yeah, so uh, is the volume okay? Can you guys hear the sound at all? A little bit maybe before I actually start? German text or bust? How about German text and bust? I have a paper to write. Why must you distract me? I'm sorry, I don't want to distract you. Uh, if you don't have the ability to hang out, you know, obviously work comes first. Um, so yeah, don't be... Don't feel bad if you have to go away. Wasn't expecting this to be Rex inspired. Yeah, and also, uh, Rock Me Anadeus was playing it the other day as well. And just like everybody's getting in on the Super Metroid hype, sound is okay, I think. Well, we can always adjust a little bit later. Sounds more like perennial. Could be perennial. Have you played Mini Troid? That sounds familiar, actually, but I don't know that I have. Well, I'm very curious to see where the controls end up, so I'm going to hit start game, and we're going to try out uh, this game that I've heard a lot about, Super Metroid. Let's see how it is. The last Der letzte Metroid ist Gefangenschaft. Es herrückt wieder Frieden im Universum. Hersch ah, that's not even that word. I just read another word. Auf Siebis bekämpfte ich die Metroids. <laughs> this captioning, though, like, that's very few words compared to what's happening up above. I'm pretty sure that German is not quite that efficient. Und ihr in Anfer, Mother Brain. Mutter Brain. Your stream is gonna lull me to sleep tonight, so I won't be in chat, but good luck. Kick that Mother Brain's ass. I'll try. I'm not so worried about Mother Brain herself, it's more about the items. Well, when did you learn German? In high school? I'm actually terrible at it now, but I used to be able to speak it okay. I was actually able to, like, have a conversation in German. Uh, it took, like, four years of it, but... German text looks completely wrong. Yeah, you guys can bet on saving the animals or killing them later, or I'll do a... Uh, bean pole, and we can make that decision when we get to that point. It's gonna be a while yet, obviously. Mudvane? What makes you bring up Mudvane? I like that band. Or at least I did like that band. Since their second album after that, I haven't really liked them that much. Your pronunciation is not actually too bad. Mein Schwester ist in Inovegi? What? Dort entdecke man die Metroids als Alternative. Kill the animals, save the frames, save the speedrun, kill the animals. That's a word I've never encountered before. Energy quelle. At least I can understand it without hating having to read it. Nachdem ich seres. Nachdem ich seres verlassen hatte. German text is new meta, obviously. Taunt the animals, that's a new option. Errichte mich ein 
what is that? Hilf Hilfaroof. Hilfaroof. <laughs> Die Forschungen. Ugh, that one took me too long to sound out. There's a German words have very long bunches of letters put together. Yeah. Oh yeah, Tiberios. Welcome to the quarry, my friend, and enjoy that little Metroid fanfare. Do you really like Grandma's Boy, or is it an ongoing joke? I fucking hate it. I think it's a pretty good movie. No, seriously, though, thank you, Tiberios, for the subscription. I really, really appreciate all the support. Alright, I think controls are where I left them, so that's good news. For sh I can't, like, say that for some, re for some reason. I see all those letters put together... And I just can't comprehend. Forshung Station. Yeah, there's another S in there, but it just doesn't really happen for me. Dance in front of the animal, then leave them to die. That's sad. I can't believe that Scum B Rex killed the animals. I was I was so sad to see that, but he didn't know where they were. I'm also I'm happy to see that he went back to Green Brinstar of all places that I told him to go. And uh, went and actually learned how to wall jump at the very goddamn end of the game, right before he finished it off. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. Uh, so I actually went and I bought a USB SNES controller a long time ago, and I'm still using the 360 controller like an ultimate scum. I don't know what the hell my deal is. It just seemed like too much work to figure out how I wanted to map the controls here, and this way at least, like, it's just like the thing I always use anyway. But it super doesn't matter at all. For Shung's Station. I forgot, is there a way you can, like, cheese this guy long enough that you could actually, like, make him change colors? Or, I mean, I know it's scripted and everything, but, like... Yeah, I know how much HP he has. You must have to hit him, like, 10,000 times for it to actually do anything. Is it just me, or does he look a little bit more red than he usually does? Oh man! Oh no, you didn't! Alright, this is taking a while now, isn't it? I should probably let him kill me. Oh wait, doesn't he fly off eventually if you hit him enough times? Uh, that was a $5 donation from I Negotiate with Terrorists. Thank you so much for your donation, good sir, and uh, the... <laughs> the message says, please have your animal spayed or neutered. So that was our Bob Barker message for the day. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen him drop it before like that. Did I almost win? What happened there? Yeah, German subtitle strike again. Why aren't I running? No guts, no glory, Nick. Don't give up. Somebody's got to do it, right? So close, Kappa. <laughs> Yet so far. What a tease, right? Rip Lee. You can call me Rip Lee Smile, I guess. Who are Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross? I thought you were going to say Atticus Finch. This riff reminds me of Mindless Self Indulgence. I kind of know what you mean, actually. The do -do 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 Something about that, I think, is hopefully what you're saying. I think you mean Atticus Finch. <laughs> wow, okay, great minds think alike, evidently. Good stuff. Beep beep boop boop beep beep boop boop. Planet Zebes. Planet Zebus. Have you played Metroid Redesign? I have actually tried it, yeah. Trent Reznor's the guy who wants to fuck you like an animal. <laughs> he did say that. He wanted to feel me from the inside. I wouldn't let him. It was pretty not my taste. But I still respect him. It's all good. Ripley Smile would be a good spooktober name. Yeah, but I did Ghostly Smile for now. I thought that was also appropriate. Ripley smile would be good if Nick didn't skip leg day. Yeah, I skip all the leg days, unfortunately. 
If I was a bodybuilder, I would say that would be sweet. Oh, good call, Afflicted One. I'm glad we could clear that up right away. Alright, let the record show that Afflicted One has brought this to light right from the get-go. Metroid is a girl. And now we don't have to talk about it ever again. Ever, ever again. Have you ever heard of the game Called of Duty? You should do an Indian impression of it. That's a good idea, actually. Oh, Call of Duty. I'm sorry, I thought you said Called. The game is called Call of Duty. It's a double call, so that's like a callback and kind of confused me a little bit. Just become a bodybuilder and identify as Ripley Smile. Seems like a lot of work, <laughs> but I'm up for it. Let's do it. Let's become bodybuilders together. Oh, I, <laughs> I was going to get out of the way. I just didn't do it. Never, ever again, except during NLSS, right, Nick? Yeah. Never, ever, ever again. Cauldron of Duty. The witch version. Oh, did I just say the thing I was about to say? I don't think I did. I think I got sidetracked. So I'm going to try and do, like, some kind of skippy stuff, but not, like, a lot of it. And also, it's just going to be kind of whenever it seems appropriate to do. So, like, this, obviously, is a huge sequence break. You're not supposed to be able to get this until the end of the game, but I just kind of jumped over here because I think a lot of people just don't realize it's there. Uh, and, you know, that's their bad. They, they can't really help it. They don't really know the structure of the game, and that's okay. We live and we learn. You know, I, I like to get this stuff out of the way right at the beginning. So that was a really big speedrun trick that a lot of people don't realize. Uh, you actually just go up above the blocks, and then you don't have to worry so much about uh, going under the blocks. Because that saves you a lot of frames. Uh, like, hundreds of frames, actually. Are you going to cheese a scanner like Rex? I might. I very well could. I might actually do it slightly in a more efficient way than he did. <laughs> Uh, I'm planning on probably getting power bombs before I go down there. I don't really have, like, a prescribed route the way that I probably should, but... You know, that, that's... For the amount of times i played the game, I should probably know the in and outs, like, the actual routes way better than I actually do. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the cool way to do that. Okay, yeah, that's actually a big speedrun strat not a lot of people know about. Metroid skip at the end. I will probably skip Metroid at the end, yeah. Uh, oh my god, you got me! I want to see if I can pull this one off again. I know this seems like an insane thing that I'm doing right now, but I've actually made this happen. Oh, that was it right there. Oh, I totally have it! Damn it. I'm going to be really... Disappointed with myself, I don't pull this off. This is an actual trick, though. Like, I don't think I've seen a lot of people even do this one. What is your opinion on jalapenos? Yeah, I like them. I think jalapenos are pretty good. They got that nice flavor to them, and they're nice and hot. Uh, hey, Foxlift, how's it going? Come on! I don't want to sit here with a stupid thing on me. What's this trickery? It's uh, basically every now and then, if you time it just right, uh, you go into Morph Ball and then pop right out, and you can get like a few pixels of height extra out of it. Uh, you may have seen my gun actually, or my blaster arm. There it was. Uh, my blaster arm just kind of like intersected with the E-Tank, and I've actually been able to grab it. I've tested this. Oh, come on! That was it, right there. I freaking had it. You saw how close I was. Oh, bull hockey. Well, if I can't end up getting it, I can always just come back for it once I get bombs. Actually, wait, I can't because this uh, breaks away before then. Has anyone done this trick before and knows like if there's a more repeatable way to grab this E-Tank? They patch this. Uh, like, what makes the extra couple of pixels happen, if you know? Oh wait, that was it. Maybe I don't actually go into Morph Ball. Maybe I just 
aim down and then back up again. I'm totally intersecting. Oh, come on! You see how far in I am? It was bull hockey, it was! You could see it. Uh, don't you jump higher by crouching and jump. Is that what it is? Oh, I think that is actually what it is. So maybe me... doing it slightly off kilter is what's making it actually harder on myself. Oh, come on. So far in, go in deeper. I can't believe that's not actually working. I'm freaking shoulder deep into that block. Come on, guys. I need these frames. Hey, RKO fan. I can't believe I'm not getting this. It's there. I'm totally can't, not going to be able to get it by jumping off the wall, but... Can you not see how ridiculous this is? I wouldn't even be trying this if I haven't actually pulled this off before. Well, this is probably getting very frustrating to watch, so maybe I'll come back. The scanner's gonna- yeah, that's probably pretty annoying. Uh, did the top stop spinning? Nick, I have a Subway gift card worth five fifty three. Well, you should go buy a $5 footlong, because I think that's about how much those cost. But if you don't want to do that, and that thing's just sitting there, well, I actually accept international payment and, like, 200 other things now uh, for subscriptions. So if people are interested, that's a thing you can do now. Yeah, I just buy bottled water now. It's fine. So that thing that I was just doing, I'm sorry that I didn't pull that off, but it was getting a little annoying probably to hear. What's with the laser thing? That's the uh, little scanner that's telling all the space pirates to come out and populate the walls when I come up up this elevator here. Five dollar foot long with tax, unlikely. Yeah, but if you have like a little bit of pocket change, maybe. Uh, and then you go in there with the 553 or whatever you said it was. That should probably work out, I'd think. Just like, you know, go into your car seat or something. There's probably a little bit in there. Can I send you five footlongs for payment? That would be pretty sweet, actually. I would totally love that. Like, if that was an option, uh, I love sandwiches, and I would probably buy sandwiches with donation money anyway, or subscription money anyway, so that doesn't seem like that egregious of a thing to do, to be honest. It's okay, the jump is ridiculous. Sir does fantastic moments use the water climb. I just want you to know, I've done it, for real. I'm not just making that up, it's really a thing. And I don't know that I've ever seen anyone else do it, but I'm probably, you know, I'm not like the first person that's thought of it, I just don't think people do it very often. So I need to figure out how to do it repeatedly, and then try and show you guys next time I do a run of this game. Hi, Anna! Thanks for stopping by. I hope I don't spoil too much of the game for you by playing this. Uh, should I go get the map? I'm gonna do it. Oh, that's still that. Too bad I'm gonna have a favorite sandwich territory. I'm all in mine equals Ruben. Favorite sandwich territory. I don't know. Uh, I don't really have like a name for my favorite sandwich. I just like, uh, I guess if I went into Subway and I ordered something, I would get, uh, turkey and Swiss 
lettuce, tomato, mayo, uh, black olives, vinaigrette, maybe bacon if I'm in the mood for it. But yeah, I don't think that really necessarily has a name. It's just like a good sandwich. That's that's the good sandwich for me. And that's the kind of sandwich that I'm fine with it if it's toasted or if it's not toasted. Like, either way, I'm gonna be just fine. Bologna and cheese with ketchup. Cat catsup. Oh my god, I just made an amazing sandwich tonight. Tell me about your sandwich, Lauren. I need to know. I want to hear all about your sandwich and what it means to you. And what kind of sandwich it is, how it tasted. I want to know about the fillings and the details. I want to know how it looked. I want to know the lighting that you viewed it under. I want to know... I want to know right now. I want to know. I want to know what love is. Love's a sandwich, apparently. Grilled peanut butter and jelly is greater than all other sandwiches. Uh, it's good. I'm certainly not going to put it down. I've had some good times with, uh... What the hell was I gonna say? Uh, peanut butter and banana sandwiches also. Those are pretty tasty. You know what? I'm gonna cheese this boss. You know how? I'm gonna replenish my missiles first. No one ever thinks of that. Close enough. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell anyone, but my subreddit will be subreddit of the day on the 30th. That's awesome. I almost missed that message. Glad I didn't. Congratulations. You can feel free to pimp your subreddit if you like. Oh my god, the Birdman closed the door. What do I do, guys? What do I do? What do I do? John Travolta. Oh my god. Oh my god. John Travolta. Yeah, and I finished the boss at 69 health. Perfect. I like how this is all going. Boopy doop. And away we go. Hey, dope freshness. Fresh mess, I'm sorry. You're a freshness, fresh mess. Whatever you want to be, you can be. You can be a fresh dope mess, or a fresh mess. Or a mess of freshness. Whatever appeals to you at the moment. I'm not here to stifle you. John Revolta. Oh my god. <laughs> Rip Lee. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know what that jump was about there. And it's number one at picking up health after the boss. Thanks for being here, by the way, Mag. I appreciate it. You've been basically at every stream that I've been at for, like, the last I don't know how many weeks, honestly, it seems like. And that's a good thing, because I like having you here to mod. I'm going to play super conservatively, and I'm going to damage boost everywhere, and I'm going to go save. Hey, Skulfy, how are you? Thank you for coming by. Posting a spooky game jam, and I need a silly skeleton gift for the gif for the game jolt page. Oh, you're gonna have no problem finding that. There are some good spooky skeletons out there. There's actually a whole game about spooky skeletons, and it was full of all the best gifts. Uh, I can't remember the title of it off the top of my head, but if you want to go check out my indie impressions videos, I did one on it. Something about skeletons, spooky skeletons. There's like a helicopter involved. You like pilot the helicopter and you shoot all the skeletons. They're in hell, if I remember correctly. Nick stalking mag. Stalking your mom. I'm saying I'm stalking your mom. Guys, it's too early to call about the animals. It's fine. Alright. So, should I be really obnoxious and go back all the way down to open up that one place for that one missile container? I don't feel like I'll come back. I'll come back through once I get uh, power bombs 
and I'll hit the other ones there. Because I want to get the, obviously, after the high jump boots, I'm going to go back for the E-Tank. And we're going to go, probably go and try and cheese the weird invisible platform with the boulders area up above. It's cool. Yeah, <laughs> pretty William Johnson theme. That's what that was. You caught me. Peaceful Skeleton Realm Attacked by Helicopter. That is the title. You are correct. Thank you. It's such a good title, too. I can't believe I could forget it. My first E-Tank. It's the greatest E-Tank. I will treasure it always. All right. Missile time. Boop. 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 Oh, might as well replenish, I guess. Brinstar Ahoy! Almost. Gotta go through Angry Insect World. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, you didn't! Elevated dance. Oh no, you didn't. Thank you, thank you very much, Double Taco, for the $6.90 donation. This will be put towards killing the animals, as per the message request. Very, very generous of you. Appreciate the donation, sincerely. Uh, you don't actually have to donate towards killing the animals or anything like that. We're just going to do a poll, but, you know, it's funny, and I appreciate the sentiment either way. Uh, so we're going to try for Mock Ball, I guess, because why not? Uh, this is the right door, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that was way uh, late. Hey, Nick, did you ever download Shadow Mortar? Yeah, I, uh, I downloaded it, and I actually played it for, like, four hours on stream on after the Monday's NLSS, and I actually liked it a whole bunch. It was a lot of fun. Uh, but then I had to go get tacos, and then I turned off the stream. So that's what happened, but I enjoyed it. Uh, so I'm going to give this, like, I don't know, ten tries maybe, and then I'll move on. But, you know, the reward is quite great if I can pull it off, because you get uh, early super missiles, which makes everything better, honestly. But even if I don't get them, it's like, I'll get them real soon anyway. Plus there's a ton of fucking missiles in here. Uh, this is... Whoa, hello! Baconator98, thank you very much and welcome to the Rock Quarry with the Super Metroid Fanfare. Tell me about the tacos. Oh, by the way, raise your Akiyahas in celebration for uh, Baconator98. Uh, the taco situation, I ended up getting a, I think it was like a number two or something. It was a Mexican pizza plus two hard shell tacos. And then I got another two hard shell tacos and a double XL stuffed burrito. And I didn't eat all that at once. I actually turned it into, like, three meals across since yesterday and today. But uh, it was good. It was very, very refreshing. And they had a really delicious mango iced tea, which was probably full of chemicals. But it tasted very nice. I'd be down for ten tacos. Yeah, I, en I only ended up with four in total. But, you know, four did the trick, honestly. Sound effect is a lot louder. That's because I actually turned the donkey sound down, if you can believe that. Haven't been to a Nick stream in a while. I haven't even been to a lot of minutes. Oh, I'm sorry, Dragon Slayer. Well, I'm glad you're here now. Okay, I, I'm actually better at this than I'm showing you right now. I'd like to believe anyway. I was able to pull it off three times uh, today when I was just dicking around with it for a minute, setting stuff up. Oh, come on. There's like two elements of doing Mock Ball properly that are very important. One of them is to... Uh, make sure you're running, obviously. That's kind of important. And you want to also make sure you jump at the appropriate moment, which is not too late. My problem is I've often been jumping too late, thinking the momentum carried. Uh, it, it carries, but only horizontally, not vertically. So you want to make sure that you're at the proper maximum height as you go through the door frame. And provided you can do that, and keep slamming on down right, if you end up in the right trajectory, uh, you're going to be fine. Nick, do you know Enter the Band, uh, the band Enter Shikairi? Yeah, I do, and I've listened to them, and they're actually pretty good. Does the crouch jump work? In what capa- Oh, Well, alright, there's a missile power-up anyway. Uh, did you end up playing Shadow Colossus, and did you enjoy it? Yes, I played the first half of the game. I did eight Colossi, and I didn't finish it yet. I'm planning on still doing that soon. Probably, you know, maybe tomorrow, actually, after the NLSS. 
Uh, I, I enjoy it, but it's it's a flawed game in some ways. I think it's got some.